Hello. Well, I picked an estate agent. So I met four and it's very interesting how different they were. And as I said before, the first three that I met, they weren't very pushy, very nice. Um, uh, it makes a big difference, you know, when you go with a good estate agent. So all of them had no tie-in period. Just give them 30 days notice if you decide to change so they can change things but no time period. What a welcome relief. So we don't have all that hassle. And um, <clears throat> so how did I make my decision? Well, the first lady, was she, I mean, and they were all lady estate agents. Um, <clears throat> one, of, uh, one, of, uh, one of you uh, commented on this on one of my posts and gave an interesting story, you should read that, about how an agent went to pick ladies because a lot of ladies are on their own, widowed or divorced and wanting to sell and a lady, a state agent is going to be more well, empathetic I guess. But read his comment, it's on uh, the video from last week, it's uh, was very interesting indeed. And so, th I mean I liked them all for different reasons. Um, and the first one uh, was uh, she did put a lower price on my house and because she was the first one I thought well if everybody says it's worth that amount then that's what it is but actually all the others came back and said keep it at the same price but, the, but that wasn't you know I, I thought this lady was very good but um, just not for me I couldn't really put my finger on it but not for me uh, the second one was a ball of energy and uh, I think she just would have redesigned my house completely if she could. But uh, again, nothing wrong with it, just not, didn't really click as much as I did with the third one. And the third one I really liked and was very calm, very thorough and went into detail about what they're going to do to market it. And, you know, I, I believed in what she was saying and... Um, yeah, I liked her. But I was waiting for the fourth person to come because they do have a good reputation in the area. I mean, all four of them do. So, um, you know, I think if you'd have gone with any of them, they'd have been a good choice. But the fourth one came and uh, first she was late and that did not, you know, 10 minutes late and made no apology for it, which now kind of didn't sit well with me to start with. But then she did warm to me. Uh, you know, I warmed to her rather. And I liked her personality and she was quite outgoing and... Uh, uh, she just talked very fast, but, uh, you know, she said all the right things. Now, I did then think, right, I need to think about this for a bit because it's between the third and the fourth one. Um, but unfortunately, the fourth one phoned me and left a message on my answer phone the next day with how she had all these people ready to come and view it. And I thought, oh, that's such a, such a sales thing, isn't it? And so I thought, no, I don't really like that kind of pushiness, you know, I've got so many people ready to come is uh, I've heard that before and um, no so I went with the number lady number three and I called her up and I said uh, would you like to market my house for me and she was very happy about it so she, they're coming around next week gonna do videos and photos of the house and uh, we'll get going I've also um, picked my own solicitors that uh, someone else rec recommended to me and I've started that process going. I spoke to her, said, you know, that I'm going away in less than two weeks now. And I just like to get everything ready so that if they do get an offer and I accept, we, you can go ahead and I'm not going to hold anything up. So we're going to be working to get all that paperwork done. So I guess I'll be contract ready and uh, she'll be ready to pick it up and just run with it. And it's not going to matter that I'm not here. So, been a productive last few days. I have to say, it's so tiring, right? It's, it, but it's not, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit stressed at the moment about lots of things like uh, work, which I'm supposed to have retired, but, uh, you know, I can't let my son down. <clears throat> and we seem to have a lot to do, so that's been stressing me out quite a bit. I'm trying to get everything done before I go to Australia. Uh, uh, you know, so I can go and be stress-free. So it's been a, quite a, a manic couple of weeks, but... Um, Fingers crossed. This time, this time we've made the right choice. 
haven't you enjoyed this beautiful weather? It's been so lovely, hasn't it? Um, as you all know, I work in a gym and it's been, it's probably not the place where you want to be born in hot. Um, but, you know, it is nice to have some sunshine. Yes. So that was just a quick update for this week um, because I'm massively busy now trying to get everything tidied and put away ready for the photos. Um, but I'll keep you updated and we'll speak again next week. Take care. Bye.